All right, you guys, today we're going to check out how to make this animation GIF here in Photoshop, inspired from this image from freepig.com. I'm also going to leave a link in the description with this model. All right, so let's start doing the shapes. I'm going to select the rectangle first, press and hold shift to create a rectangle. I'm going to recolor this as perp. Make sure to deselect the layer with the rectangle. For example, I'm going to select the yellow and I'm going to go and select the ellipse tool. Press and hold shift, create a circle. And I'm going to position this right where they intersect somewhere here. So if I uncheck the fill, it's perfectly in the middle. You can see here. So this is going to be like the central point. I'm going to put the fill back, press Ctrl T, press and hold Alt, scale it until it is going to intersect right here. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layers. Press Ctrl T, press and hold Alt, scale it down a little bit. Double click release. I'm going to select the bottom circle and I'm going to recolor it. There you go. We're going to need to mask this. So before we mask it, we're going to need to create smart object out of this. So I'm going to select the first ellipse, right click, convert smart object, right click, convert smart object. And I'm going to make a smart object from the rectangle as well. Now press and hold control, click on the thumbnail of the rectangle. And now we're going to select the ellipse tool, one of them. And let's go down and mask it. We're going to do the same thing with the top circle. Press and hold control, click on the thumbnail of the rectangle and mask it. There you go. Now we got the first shape. I'm going to select these shapes, press control G to group them, rename it one. Now we're going to create the half circles. Select the circle, press and hold shift. And now I'm going to select the rectangle marquee tool and I'm going to go and select the bottom half. When you can see this intersection point with the pink like that, that's the half of it. Select the half and let's go and mask it. Select the selection tool, press and hold Alt, bring it upwards, press and hold Alt again, drag it upwards to create the third copy. Press and hold Shift, select all the half circles, right click, convert to smart object, and I'm going to position this upwards somewhere here. Also, we're going to need to scale it to be the same size as the rectangle, so I'm going to position it somewhere here. Press Ctrl T and scale it. Now I'm going to put it like this. Now we're going to need to mask the half circles. Let's go into the folder. Let's select the rectangle, press and hold Alt, drag it upwards. So we get a new copy and bring it right here. And now press and hold Control, click on the thumbnail of the rectangle, select the ellipse half circles and mask it. Now we can delete the rectangle. Let's collapse it. I'm also going to group this, press Control G. Now we're going to make the line pattern. That's got to be interesting. I'm going to go again into the number one folder, drag out the rectangle, press and hold Alt to create a new copy, bring it upwards, collapse. Let's select the rectangle. I'm going to put it here where it intersect, press Ctrl T, press and hold Shift, and I'm going to bring it more in. Make sure to uncheck the layer with the rectangle. And now we're going to go and select the rectangle tool again. I'm going to select the darker color and I'm going to create a line like this. Press Ctrl T, rotate it, double click release. Press and hold Alt, drag it upwards, also press Shift to isolate, and I'm going to put it somewhere here. Now we're going to press Ctrl J a lot of times until it's going to create a lot of copies. Now press and hold Shift, select all the rectangle lines that we created all the way down here. Exclude the purple rectangle, and now we're going to go here to the Align and align it vertical centers like that. Let's go to the layers, right click, and click on Merge Shapes. Now I'm going to position it something like this. Now let's go to the Line Pattern, right click. Convert a smart object, press and hold control and click on the thumbnail of the rectangle. Make sure that you're on the line pattern layer and mask it. Now I can go and delete the purple rectangle and about least we're going to make those circles. I'm going to select the orange, press and hold shift and create four copies. Now let's go and create smart objects out of these circles. I'm going to group these. Now let's animate this. Let's go to windows. Let's go and select timeline. Click on create video timeline. And I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to open up the first folder. And I'm also going to open up here this folder. And I'm going to go and unlock, unlink the layers. So let's say I'm going to animate the yellow circle here. Make sure that you're on the thumbnail of the yellow circle. It's unlocked and you can move it around and it's going to be in the rectangle. So what I'm going to do is open up the ellipse, the yellow one. Let's bring this at the beginning. I'm going to bring the work area all the way to one second, for example. And I'm going to activate the transform stopwatch here. And I'm going to bring it to the middle, press Ctrl T, press and hold Alt, scale it down, double click release. And you can see the new keyframe here. So if you bring it back, it is animating. Now I'm going to select this keyframe, right click, copy, and I'm going to bring it to the end. 
Let's add another keyframe and we're going to copy paste the characteristics of the first keyframe. So it's going to go back to normal and it is animating like this. You also can modify it. I'm going to make the same thing with the other circle. Now let's go and animate the half circles. I'm going to stop this. Let's go to the second folder, open it up. Let's select the half circles, unlock it, select the thumbnail. And let's go and search for, I'm going to also collapse this folder and I'm going to open up the number two. And what I want to do here is duplicate actually this layer, press control J to duplicate. And I'm going to cut it here in the middle. So press and hold shift, select both of these layers, click on the cut, and I'm going to delete this one and this one. And I'm going to bring this one right here, select the bottom one. Let's open up the settings and we're going to bring this back. Click on the stop, watch the transform. And we're going to bring this to the 10th frames right now. And let's go to the half circles, bring it down. Also press shift to isolate and make sure that it is going to lock it right here. So let's see what we got. Something like this. Probably I'm going to need to position it a little bit above. And I'm going to push the keyframes right here. So it animates and it stops. Animates, stops. Let's collapse number two, open up the number three. Do the same thing here, select the layer, unlock it. Let's open up the pattern. And as you can see, it is ending with this triangle. So we're going to need to see this edge of the triangle. I'm going to press control R to pop up the ruler and drag and drop a ruler right here where they end. And I'm going to bring this back, activate the stopwatch, bring it all the way to the first second. And I'm going to bring it down. Also press shift to isolate, put it somewhere here. There you go. And it's going to animate. Now, of course, this is going too fast, but when you pull the pattern, you don't need to pull that much pattern that I did. So it's going to go slower. Let's collapse it, open up the fourth folder, do the same thing here. And here, all you need to do is select one of the circles, open up here. Let's bring it back, click on the transform, bring it out. I'm going to go to the 20th frame, press control T and scale it down. And here at the width and the height, you also can scale down, make sure that it's locked. And I'm going to go down to zero ish and I'm going to click somewhere here. You can see it edit the keyframe. Let's select the first keyframe, right click, copy characteristics, bring it at the end, add the keyframe, right click, paste characteristics. And there you go. And you can mess around with the keyframes of the circle. So it's going to delay the animation and it's going to look like this. And I'll at least bring the model in and bring the layers down and position it where it needs to belong. And it's going to look something like this. If you want to check out how to export in GIF, I'm going to leave a link in the description. And this was it. Thanks for watching.